check NEXT Global and how they got the uh, confusion and stuff set up. And you can see all the orders. Uh, it looked like it's going to be a big drop because they got the orders set up. Because, you know, the longer I've been in crypto, like more stuff I've found out, I've found out like the portable, you know, stuff yep. called the spread. You know, it's, it's, it's deeper than, you know, it's uh, liquidity pool, liquidity pool mining. Blockchain in general is the future. I mean, I've got a friend who works. He, he works high up for the banks, and um, he, he kind of uh, invests in things like Apple stocks. But he's not allowed to do it directly, so he has to get like a friend to do it because of his, of his <laughs> job position. <laughs> and, and, uh, yeah, obviously I'm not saying it. But um, when, I, when I told him about blockchain, he, he, he said to me, he said, look, all I'm going to tell you about that is the banks are worried about it. They're worried about it, you know. Um, so normally if the banks are worried about something, they want to adopt it and, you know, take it on themselves. So I think as far as finances go, blockchain in general is the future. But anything can stem from blockchain, can't it? I mean, obviously... You have crypto coins, you have NFTs, you now have the metaverse. I mean, Facebook has changed its name to Meta. The blockchain, I'm just wondering what the next big thing in blockchain will create, you know? Um, the next new thing to attach to blockchain, it, it, it could be anything. But here as well... Um, I, I know what it is. I know what the next thing is. What is it? What, what the next thing is? Yeah. I know, but that information is so valuable. I can't just say it. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> hey, I can just say it. I can, sure. I can say it. Somebody could probably run with it. I think one of the next big things is you able to purchase anything with your NFT. You know, I think that'll be the next thing. You know. Yeah. So, yeah, let your NFT have like a money value or something like that attached to it, and it can go up or down. You can reload it like a debit card with crypto. You know what I'm saying? Just use your NFT like a debit card. You know that'll be the next big thing. And the science is here. You got it, but you got it right here. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, the NFTs are digital tickets, aren't they? I mean, the same way you would go buy. Um, you know, a ticket to go watch a football game uh, through, say, StubHub or somewhere like that. You can now buy an NFT that has that as a utility. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. it, it's it's the future of it's the future of tickets, if you like, in a very simple manner. But yeah. you you yeah. you can go as far as you like with that. Really, um, it, it can keep expanding. You've got um, your your my homies NFTs coming. They've got a, have they got a spot in um I forgot what that place is called now. The one Snoop Dogg um has a mansion. Uh, you know, I, I got to tell you the truth. <laughs> I, I can't remember any of this. <laughs> 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 All I know is that uh, you know I'm going to make a lot of money. <laughs> and, oh, that's all I've been told. Yeah, I'm just ain't trying to, you know, enjoy myself as I wait. <laughs> so I, I really don't know. I really don't know anything about it. I, I barely know how to use my phone. <laughs> I still don't use uh, Alexa as much as I should or Siri. I can't get that shit together yet. In fact, I've been told by Siri to oh, shut up. You know, when you, when you get your shit together, talk, talk call me. <laughs> because I, I just, especially when I smoke weed. You know, I don't care what we're talking about. When I smoke weed, I, I can't remember shit. You know, <laughs> nothing. I can't even remember where I am. Well, at least I, 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 I know where I am now. The 
because I've been here for so long. But we we've got is, a lot of we've got a lot of listeners from the UK, Tommy. Um, so obviously over here in the UK, unfortunately, we can't go buy it like you can in California. Um, I know, you know, I know. That's why that's why we call it California. How <laughs> <laughs> long do you think it will be till we turn into California over here? Well, you know, watching the Queen's funeral. You guys got a long way to go, man. <laughs> yeah. Long. You know, they're still back. They're still back in that 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 mindset. You know. So yeah. as far as drugs go, uh, anyway, the truth is, the black market makes more money for everybody than legalization. You see, everybody. You know, the DEA, they're they're going broke now because they they can't steal off the the. You know, they can't reap the rewards that they were getting from the cartels. You know, so, so we're, we're, we're in a very beautiful situation. And uh, it's so exciting. It's so exciting. I'm so glad to be alive now. Well, I hope soon you can go into a shop the way that you can over here and buy a vape pen and, you know, buy weed at, at some point you know obviously don't get hopefully. don't get too too wound up about that man i'll tell you <laughs> well you know, I, I i spoke to me i spoke to you a year ago tommy and uh-huh. you told me that your shops were coming over here pretty soon so i got excited yes. a year ago i'm still we're still trying to get past well we got it over there now we call it amp we, we call the products now. Cheech and I got a, a product called Cruise Chews, which are hemp um, gummies, but they okay. have like three or four percent THC because the, every hemp plant has THC, and and you're allowed so much, and and so so we're, we're, and we got these in the markets now. We got these in the uh, WalMarts places like that and so it, it won't be long before it's, it's going to flood uh, Europe the hemp, the hemp. yeah I, I tried some I had some in the THC sent of the, the nano technology um, yeah. I, I think I, it was um, something like I'm going to get it wrong now but it was something along the lines of sweet dreams and great vibes or something like that it was a oh, I'm going very close nice dreams and good vibes that's the one. Uh, the yeah. good vibes was the orange bottle, wasn't it? That's the, yes. uh, yeah. a pick me up kind of thing. And yeah. I, I had some of that. And yeah, I mean, I didn't know that. I think I'm not too sure what was in it, um, exactly what was in it. But I know we couldn't actually sell it, you know, over here as, as we wanted to. But we did have somebody kind of the. You probably saw this video a long time ago, and he came into one of the shops, and he was he was basically, he, he couldn't speak, he was, he was shaking, I, I don't exactly know what he had, but he, he really couldn't quite, he had to have a helper with him, um, he couldn't translate whatsoever, and he was basically looking for some CBD, and the guy who was running the shop, he was so, he was so freaked out by, by this, by this, like, dude that he kind of just went under the tap and gave him one of your bottles just to get him out of the shop, you know? And um, yeah. later on, he went onto Facebook on his own and he was talking normally and he did his own post about it. And he, 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 he basically said that, you know, he's tried everything over here and there was nothing to take. Like, I wish I knew what he actually had because it's quite a common, you know, illness. But whatever it was, it cured him, you know, for, for the amount of time yeah. that he took it. So yeah. it was pretty cool. Unfortunately for us, we couldn't actually sell it in, so I had to run down the shop and take it all off the shelf quick because he basically yeah. put a viral post out uh, telling everyone where he got it from. But um, it definitely works, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's medicine. It's been a medicine. Always will be a medicine. And it's just the governments that we have in, in power, you know, <laughs> the people that are running the country and making the laws, you know, uh, and that change is coming. That change, oh, the change is coming, boy. Ooh, 
Yeah, I got and it. thanks to Donald Trump, by the way. We got to give we credit where credit is due. Yep. I'll give Trump. He shook every. He shook the world. <laughs> and you know what? He's going to go down as probably the most famous comedian ever to be president <laughs> of the United <laughs> States in right. the due time for, for trying to overthrow the government. <laughs> That's when big calls in his eyes. <laughs> Just, that's what Big Cool is. Yeah. He was going hard with the beans. Big Cool was going so hard with the beans. The Trump beans. He was the highest in the league. He was the highest. I was a hair. I was a hair. Over here in the UK, we don't. We don't really kind of like. We never took him seriously anyway. Do you know what I mean? Because we we we, we because I guess because we're British, we, we uh-huh. look at Donald Trump in the White House like an extended version of, as keeping up with the Kardashians. Do you know what I mean? It was like yes, yeah. It was it was just another great show to watch. Um, yes. Like my yeah. missus used to like. She doesn't even know the first thing about politics, but she'd watch him as if sure. it was like. Uh, an episode of Friends, do you know what I mean? And it that's what it was. Yep. We've been controlled by actors for quite a while, you know, starting with Ronald Reagan, you know, and, and George Bush, whether he knew it or not, uh, he was a comedian, you know. Uh, Clinton, Clinton was, you know, a sleazy leading man. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Carter was a good old boy <laughs> with a big heart, but a good old boy, Christian boy. And yeah, and now we got Trump, uh, a, a movie maker. He, he's, he really, like, he learned his craft doing the apprentice. And so he really knows all about film and uh, reshoots, <laughs> you know, rehearsals. <laughs> and uh, he wanted to rehearse the, the takeover before but then oh what the hell let's just do it and then they wouldn't let the main actor in the secret service wouldn't let Donald in can you imagine what a great movie that would have been if he had let Donald in <laughs> amazing Spe- speaking of actors um, your, your good friend is Nicholas Cage is that right? yeah yeah he went <laughs> hey I watched this movie he <laughs> Oh man, the, have you seen the incredible talent? Nick, what's it called? The incredible talent of Nick Cage? Some, something, some title like that. It's a an Amazon movie or something. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. This Nick oh, Cage. Wow. Oh man, you got to see this. If you're an actor, you got to buy it. You got to buy it and just keep looking at it because he he gives a course on acting that. You haven't seen a film before, so, he makes, so make sure you see that one. He makes so many movies, though, doesn't he, lately? I mean, in the last, like, four or five years, he's literally made... I, 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 you know, every time I look on the TV, there's a, you know, there's a new... Somebody told me, I don't know how true this is, but that he just, like, if he if he stops, he gets bored. So he just... <laughs> if, 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 if he stops, the IRS comes and gets his ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's been paying the back a lot of debt, you know, because he spends oh. it way before he gets it. He addresses all that in, in his uh, movie, The Incredible Talent of Something. Uh, uh, I forget the name of it, but it's Nick Cage, the next, the latest Nick Cage movie. I loved it so much, I almost watched it twice in a row. <laughs> I was on an airplane. Oh, wow. It was so, it's that good. It is that. It's funny. It's everything. It's everything you expect. And more from Dick. Who, who, who would you who would you rate as the best actor right now? Putting aside, you know, putting aside Nicholas Cage, yourself, and Cheech. Obviously, you know, not saying that he's got there, that. But... There's a girl in a movie called Blondie, and it's about Marilyn Monroe. It's on Netflix, yo. I was going to watch it tonight. Listen, to to me, she is the. the the best actors I've ever, actor, actress altogether. 
I've ever seen. You got to see this performance that she does. It is Oscar, you know, for sure. Oscar with performance. And, and it's done most of the time she was naked. So, so you I'm talk about Ooh, you can't lose with this one at all. No. At all. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't, I don't want to keep you too much longer. So, so I believe you've got a, um, I think you've got a my homies interview to do next. Um, yeah. five PM if I read your socials correctly. Um, mm-hmm. so, so before you go, and obviously yeah. um, Messiah as well. This is obviously Don't Trust. It's a charity project. So um, I've sent the website to Paris. It basically, the idea of it is to give to people that need it. And that can be any charity whatsoever that need it. So Beautiful. Trust, Beautiful. they would like to donate $2,000. I nearly said pounds then, but $2,000 um, <clears throat> to, to, to a charity of your choice, Tommy. And, and also yeah. uh, you as well, Chris, so aside to a charity of your choice. So, um, you know, you don't have to decide now if, unless you've got one here and now. Um, but yeah, um, let us know and we'll we'll get that sent over. Definitely, definitely. I I, I got a charity called a place called Home, and what it is, it's a little halfway house in the ghetto where kids that aren't in a gang and they don't want to have to deal with that shit can come after school and on weekends, and they have everything set up. You know game room and televisions and everything is for the kids and it's so called a place called home and that's my charity okay. I'll, I'll get the details off Paris and um, okay. we'll get that sent over um, you know I know you're busy but um, we'd like to have you back on uh, if you ever sure. available Tommy um, anytime man. Ne- next time Murphy will get a new Murphy's going to get a new laptop with some new headphones and yeah the same for you Masara as well um you obviously don't have to choose now but you know we we this is the idea of don't trust at the end of the day is to donate to charity of course people will make money along the way on the token that's part of crypto but we want to give back to the people that need it. So if you have anyone in mind, say now. If you want to think about it, think about it. I'm going to pick it. I'm going to, I'm going to search through a few of you to add. That'll probably be the most efficient of my doing. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll take your time. There's, there's no rush anyway. We've put you on the admin team anyway, Messiah. Um, see you here anyway, because... Um, I'm not too sure what guests we've got coming on next, but um, we, we are always going to have, you know, people come on. And um, we, what we're trying to do, we, we're, trying to create, we're trying to create a digital podcast based around crypto. That's what we're trying to do. Um, so you can come on, have a chat, and at the end of it, a charity can be donated and all under a banner of blockchain. So that's the idea of don't trust and um that's how we hope to get recognition and grow but it's really been a pleasure it's been a pleasure pleasure having you tommy and i'll know thank you thank you very much thank you very much thanks tommy thank you thank you thank you thank you very much thank you tommy